Hello everyone, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I will show you how to model a cyclone using Aspen Isis. Now, we will be adding our components to the component list. So, we are having a com combination of methane, then hydrogen, and then carbon. Yes, carbon. Now, a a cyclone can be used to separate um, solid components from gaseous components so we'll be trying that out to see how it goes so for fluid package we can just use Ben Robinson Ben Robinson for fluid package then yes that's it so our feed to the process would be a mixture of uh, gases and solid so we have methane hydrogen and carbon so for the cyclone um, let me see we can can we scroll down to get it okay let's check the separator yes i think the cyclone should be here yes so this is the cyclone so this is your cyclone you can get it from the separator section of your palette right you can get it from the separator section so specify the feed properties so just name this feed so this is the feed to the process um let me see okay yes you can just use a regular temperature and pressure for this illustration let's see how it goes then mass flow just use let's use 1000 1000 kg per hour for our mass flow then for this let's make an assumption of um okay 0. Let's say 0. 0.5 then 0 0.1 okay 0 0.2 that's the, the carbon will be 0 0.3 right so carbon is 0 0.3 so we specify this then uh, yes so we can now separate into solid and um, vapor right so you have your gaseous products as the top then you have solid product as the bottom so for the bottom, I can name the bottom as um, solid, for example, solid, then the vapor is, let me just say gas, then our inlet is um, feed, right, feed, so it says unknown efficiency, so you have to specify the efficiency of your cyclone, how much um, separation your cyclone can achieve, right, you have to specify how much separation that cyclone was designed to achieve. So that's what you do with your efficiency. Yes. So you specify particle efficiency. For example, if I have 95% efficiency or maybe 97, I just specify it. Right. So you specify your particle efficiency. Then you specify the solid components in your feed. Right. So for you to use the cyclone, your feed must have a solid component in it. So and you have to specify what it is. So for example, I will specify carbon. Now in this case, based on the feed components, I will specify carbon as the solid component, right? So once you specify it, you get your cyclone to solve, right? So this is um, a useful um, equipment, right? It is a very useful equipment in, um, it's a very useful equipment in modeling, um, maybe methane for example methane pyrolysis right methane pyrolysis you can use a cyclone to separate the produced um, solid from the gas right so methane decomposes at high um, temperatures to give um, carbon and hydrogen right and then you can use the cyclone after your reactor you can use the cyclone to actually separate the gaseous products from your solid products right so this is how 
this is the basic um, way of actually modeling this um, cyclone right so this is the basic way so you have here you have your um, sizing you can actually specify ratios depending on how you want it to be then you also have the constraints right the constraints where you can specify minimum and maximum diameter and also um, maximum pressure drop as well right so then you have your performance also which gives you the overall efficiency and then the pressure drop of the equipment right so this is how it typically works with um, modeling cyclones right so this particular cyclone is used to separate gaseous components from your solid components right now if we check the composition you can see it so from our feed we have 0 0.5 methane you have 0 0.2 hydrogen and then you have 0 0.3 carbon right now in your um, outlet streams for your solid you have one uh, that's a composition of carbon as one and then you have your fraction of gaseous components in the um, gaseous outlet and as you can see in the gaseous outlet you have a little amount right you have a little amount of carbon in it and that is because the efficiency of this equipment is not 100 right it's not 100 i specified it as um, i specified it as 97 percent right so a little portion of the carbon will still come out of the top of this particular um this particular cyclone right and you know that efficiency can never be 100 right it can never be 100 so you have to specify something below 100 right so when you do that a little amount of your solid will still come out in the gaseous um outlet right but it will be very small very minute right so the higher the efficiency the lower the amount of solid that comes out of the gaseous outlet right so basically that's how it works right so with this we have come to the end of this lecture if you have any questions or observations on this particular tutorial kindly let us know in the comment section like this video share with your friends and then subscribe to this channel for more tutorials on process modeling thank you for joining me in this particular tutorial do have a good day